looks like a uh I don't think it is, but it, it looks like a uh Zelda hoodie you you've got on there, Manny. No, it's a um it's not. Yeah, like I said, I, I figured it wasn't, but it, it does look like a bunch of triforces. No, actually it's a um it's a it's it's a background pattern. What do you call that? A uh, shoot, I can't I just woke up, I can't remember. I don't, I'm not um, quite sure what word you're uh looking for. It's all good. It doesn't matter. Uh it's Monday and, and motion uh, capture. That, That's what it is. It's a motion capture oh, pattern. Oh I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm used to seeing like where they've also got the uh black and white checker marks. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. like joints and, and stuff <laughs> like that. So uh it is kind of cool though, man. I I I dig it. What do you What do you guys think? What do you think? There's There's a close up. There There's a close up of Manny in his in his hoodie. It's from uh, It's from a quarter crew. Okay. Cool. I think it's uh, time to start the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Cup of Genre here on uh, here on the Genreverse YouTube channel and Genreverse Podcast Network. Available uh, well YouTube and wherever you get your your podcast from Google, Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, Amazon, and uh, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. We got a lot more content for you guys, stuff for Star Wars, anime, uh, other general geek pop culture, Marvel, of course. So get subscribed, follow, leave some interaction, comments, thumbs up or down, any of that. Uh, all feeds all feeds the algorithmic beast that says people will watch this, even if it's just a hate on Manny's uh, guesses, one of which was pretty damn spot on when it comes to money for <laughs> money for uh, uh, Avatar 2. Speaking of Manny, that's him. I'm Kyle. And uh, yeah, I, I guess we can just kind of jump right in into that. Let me, get, uh, let, me get the, let me get to the door real quick. Oh, OK. No, no problem. While Manny's getting the door, uh, we always talk about uh not always, but usually talk about box office stuff on on Mondays, and we had um, a comment, and I'm not going to put it on the screen because I can't remember which video it came from. But I'll say, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Blob said, "When are we having Manny back on to uh, discuss uh, Avatar 2's uh, two billion dollar lock? Uh, it still needs about 300, uh, just shy of 300 million. Uh, more dollars to uh, cross two billion uh, and outpacing uh, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, well, Manny, what what do you, what do you think? Because you were you were I don't even think you were behind the one point five billion, which is what I had said. I felt like it could probably do, and I'm happy to see it doing uh, better than that. Uh, but you you thought this would have a lot less, man. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll get this on screen for everyone else. If you go to the numbers.com and you look at their uh their uh their chart, their projections chart, this movie uh Christmas weekend shot up like crazy over what was uh projected, the cone of, of projection, and has just continued to outpace what other films have done in the same kind of like scope and time scope and time what do you think man it's it's sitting at 1.7 billion dollars right now you know what i i never thought that the international market would come out strong to be honest um it's a it's a pleasant surprise because um china's up to almost 200 million itself the, the thing is i didn't expect china to to, to be back uh, and to to you know to be so uh uh impactful uh just just in general just i mean it's not just avatar uh megan did substantially well uh mm -hmm. and so did uh 30 million yes uh no actually well yeah 30 million but overall it, it did about 42 million um where is this that's not right uh what, yeah nationally yeah 45 uh 45, oh, 45 okay worldwide. yeah 45 yep. so just like it's overall man uh, a man called Otto. we went there we and see that on saturday also Mm -hmm. the, the the room was full i was so surprised i was like That's okay but, and so um i should i said and i sent you some pictures too because uh, it's it's a limited um, release too it's only in 637 ex screens exactly and somehow it still was able to to do th those kind of numbers um what, what my numbers aren't coming out right man i don't know what's going on here we can't. i'm not sure i got the stuff on 
uh, the numbers.com, of course, up on the screen for everyone to see. Okay. So, yeah, so very limited release for Man Called Auto. Uh, but it, it was still able to generate you know, over $4 million. Uh, Puss in Boots continues to, to do very well. And that movie will have legs for a while. That one might, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it finishes at 125 overall. Actually, well, it maybe did already internationally, mm. but uh, let me look. This, this... International, it's Oh, never mind. It's almost, it's almost that well. It's at 200. Mm -hmm. um, so it's also outpaced its uh, per, uh, projections. According I, to I, numbers. Yeah, Megan Megan doubled its already budget. Over, uh, oh, did over its budget. Twi um, double. So, uh, just not just avatar man i think it's just in general people are going to the theater and i and i'm shocked <laughs> in, I'm a, in a in a very very good yeah. way i am shocked um absolutely uh, when i walked into the, when 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 my girlfriend was like hey i barely was able to get tickets for megan i was like what are you talking about she's like the, the room was the, the room is almost sold out i was mm -hmm. like what uh and then so when we walked in and then when we walked in it wasn't just that man it was like the demographic of like the room was like all over the place there was a lot of young people there was older people middle-aged people those kids and i was like what I was, and that's and funny because so. jason uh bloom on twitter just tweeted out uh uh what was it 21 hours ago so last night uh tweeted out uh and if you're under 25 and saw megan uh, I give you uh, and it's misspelled and extra special thank you uh, because he had been talking about how important it was for for people to get out to theaters and the most important group is that wow look at that when when you and I were talking about people 25 and 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 younger might not be getting that that 2001 a space odyssey reference in the Barbie trailer look what demographic he's calling super freaking important here the uh, the 25 and under crowd anyways carry on all right so there's something about it that I'm going to talk to you about but we'll talk about it a little bit later I know we're already running by because I fell asleep um <laughs> but um just just overall man just so excited right now look listen i i i did not think that um i just i just didn't think that avatar was going to do well based on what the numbers we had seen for everything else i thought that mm -hmm. top gun did so well because um it was so nostalgic and it was so and it had and it has such a reach to everyone it didn't matter what brand of politics you followed or background it, it just spoke to everyone and i i did not feel that avatar had that same same kind of grab um it, does. it sure doesn't seem like it but people are people yeah. are going hey <laughs> whatever, whatever floats the boat man yeah i'm good uh i will watch uh top gun eight times before i watch avatar um this is my opinion and and you know yeah, um, I'll wa I, I watched a three hour movie this weekend that was probably 10 times better than Avatar and but the graphics were 10 times worse than Avatar. No, really? Um, really? What's oh, yeah. That? Um, I, um, well, well, I had finally finally got a chance to watch the Bollywood movie R R N R. Oh, R -R -R. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. movie's freaking fantastic. I was like, <laughs> half the time I was like, what is going on? But the other half, I was very, very. Um, delighted it was just fun it was a lot of fun and it was had yeah. a great story uh point being um i'm i'm jason i know jason blum also tweeted that the movies are back uh very excitedly but i'm not quite there yet but no <laughs> i will say though that we do have um we have more releases this year and we have we have more i think more more uh more things to grab onto as far as we're, I don't think we're going to have many lulls between weekends that are going to help uh, theaters maintain kind of a healthy, he um, healthy uh, selection in theaters so that mm -hmm. we're not so that we're not stuck with the same two movies for three weeks or something like that. Because if you if you look at it, oh, well, kind of are still in theaters and that because that came at, I think mm -hmm. at four or five and then um, and so now you're going to keep Avatar out there for a minute. Meg is going to keep playing for a couple weeks. Um, and just based off of Buzz, I suspect that should do okay next weekend. Um, so, yeah, it's it's um, it's such a pleasant surprise. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy people are going out, which means, I mean, the thing is, um, if Avatar failed, that could have ruined the way 
executive see see movies. Oh yeah, especially so, the the idea of the of the blockbuster as yeah. as, as, as the blockbuster separate from comic book movies. Uh, it would have probably just driven more to go that way towards more comic book stuff <laughs> instead. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I'm 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 very happy for James Cameron. I I love a lot of his movies. So um. Uh, yeah, just because I haven't seen it, I, I I've tried to make time to see it, but there's always a better movie for me to watch. I uh, I just have no I have no interest. That's, I, well, I, I mean that's me too. Like I don't. And, yeah. And, and usually I watch everything, and I'm going to tell you I am going to end up watching it. It's just one, the fact that day. it's it's over th it's over three hours long, and and when I get to the theater, I'm like, no, I'll watch this instead. <laughs> like, so um. But hey, it's fine. That's why that's why there's so many movies out because you can um you can enjoy them however the heck you want. Like I still yeah. haven't watched The Fablemans and I really want to watch that. And I haven't watched The Whale, which is actually uh very concerning cuz <laughs> I've wanted to watch that for a couple of weeks now, but um I can only sit in the theater for so long. I wish I had more a little bit more time, but um I should actually have a little bit more time soon. Um I'm telling you, man, we we need to it, it will it will destroy so many <laughs> so many uh uh people places uh but we we need to figure out how humans can can survive on like three to four hours of sleep man i would, um, I would get so much done <laughs> i survive on six i think so five or six a night that's what I, I, I know but now now add another uh uh three more hours you could potentially have nah, sleep, <laughs> sleep is sleep is great when i'm when i'm actually doing it but i'm always i'm always like man i could have like if I didn't have this annoying sleep thing, I could do so much more. Annoying anyway. sleep thing, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, anything you want to add to the numbers before uh, I throw something the, at you? The only thing I I don't get, someone someone let me know because to to this day, everyone I have I personally know that has seen the movie is just like, yeah, man, it's it's a visual treat. It's a C. C plus. Some people give it a, a, a in the low B uh, range. I haven't I haven't met one person uh, or even seen someone on online that you know I know is is real, not a bot that they've actually seen it. Uh, be like, this is so great, so amazing. I don't know why it's making money, but bravo to you guys for <laughs> for supporting it. You finally you finally listened and and went out and supported something that you liked with your with your dollar bills uh or whatever currency in, in foreign countries you might be uh using so bravo don't don't get it <laughs> but bravo yeah so which means what, that uh they're gonna get another one they're gonna start doing the avatar thing they add fire nation and yeah um, <laughs> I, I know right that was crazy i was like the, dude the first move the first movie was nothing but a freaking fern gully and, and pocahontas uh 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 amalgamation set on you know foreign planet and then you 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 now talk about how this fire tribe <laughs> yeah is gonna come back and it's like okay so you borrow the you borrow the name you're borrowing some of the 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 elements and now you're, you're just straight up borrowing the the freaking story way way to go james not not very creative are you i'm i'm giving for those that aren't watching i'm doing like the the narrowed stare down eyes anyways what else you got for us today <laughs> manny so what's interesting about megan uh and and i wanted to give your opinion is um I'm, so i'm thinking about megan i'm thinking about wednesday um and i know there's one or two other films out there but um i don't know how much you're on tiktok and, and social media not really at all okay well i do not support the chinese communist party in any any way whatsoever well as, as limited as amount as i can because i i do buy electronics but <laughs> okay well then this is going to be a tough topic for me to tell you about but the viral sensation that these films were thanks because to of the dances thanks to the dances yeah um how important do you think those can be going forward uh, as far as marketing uh ploys uh because the demographic for Megan, I've, I have not seen that many young people get go into the theater. And I mm -hmm. think it, I think I, my opinion is that a good chunk of it has to do with their, with their reach on TikTok, with, with, with their viral dance that was able to, um, generate that much interest into the younger audience. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> look, look, it's, it's smart. It work. It works well, you know, 
you know the tools that are that are out there and they've put them to to good use uh we you and i have mentioned jason bloom mentioned you know how important the youth are um uh, this is this is potentially why that uh God, what live action movie is it that they're they're oh the the Hercules where the the Russo brothers are yeah. like yeah man we we've been looking at we've been looking at a, a TikTok and things like that and that this is going to be for for that generation and you and I being from not that generation scratched our head and went what the frack does well, what the frack does that mean um, I look. <sighs> I, I kind of went on a rant about top 40 music and how I, I blame that for the dumbing down of America, uh, well, the, the world in general, uh, last week. But I, I do say that there is a, a danger there. Um, just how when whenever Janet says, well, you just got to accept it for, for what it is, it's like, do, do you not understand if you lower a, a threshold um, enough that studios will see there's no point in putting effort in going uh, beyond that, and you see things drop down. And I don't, I don't want, I don't want dances and and viral, you know, moments to be the the sole driving force behind movies. So I'm cautious about but what if, about but, it. But, but what if it's generating box office numbers? And I I get that, I get <clears throat> that. But then you also run the run the risk of it losing the like i said the top uh part of that uh, you know the the um generation of the audience is beyond and here's 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 a dirty little secret for you guys you, you might not understand america is getting older not not younger we have fallen below re replacement rate for for birth rates where we're not producing as many young people or you know and and as the generations get older the point is is that i'm okay with it in theory but I am slightly concerned about the the potential effects. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's smart business sense, hundred percent, and and support it for getting things in into theaters. But looking for those little moments, little things like that, it, it becomes it becomes like the comic book movie. It becomes a, a a danger of something that you could run dry, something that you could see the entire industry make a a shift to, which you know when you think about uh, attention spans for uh, generations as they, as they've gone on, you know, we had shorter attention spans than our parents who had shorter ones than their parents. Our kids have shorter ones than, than us. Um, I, I see the dangers, but I, I see the business sense and you know me, I'm a, I'm a greedy cap capitalist pig and I don't blame them. I would just caution and not only caution them, but caution audience as, as well, especially against using TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's not going away with the younger audience. It's it's such a it's such a thing that I, I, you know, unfortunately, it's here to stay. Uh, but there, there, you know, I mean, the moments that are that are clipped out usually they do have context in the film, and they're actually really short. Mm -hmm. So it's not like these uh, these uh, viral things are, are the entire movie. Um, but I, I I'm looking at it, and I'm and I'm thinking. I'm kind of now keeping a, keeping an eye out on on you know future projects, uh, marketing and going. Okay, well, is is this what um, is this is this where we're going as far as marketing to to attract the younger audiences to? Uh, because it because that's 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 the attention span that that young people have nowadays is those 10, 15 seconds of of some dance whatever that you need to recreate in order to stay relevant in the TikTok world and. And so once you once you see it's part of a movie, it becomes yeah. your prerogative now to also see the movie because you don't want to be left out. And I think that had a lot to do with Megan. And um, it was very smart because yep. then uh, it, the theater reacted very, very positively when the when that moment came on screen for the for the few seconds that it was. And um, yeah, it, it, it just it just it made for just made for a, it made for a good time and it made for a full room um i will say though that for megan audiences i mean critics gave it like like an a if we're talking about percentage wise yeah it's, rotten it's, tomatoes 93 percent yeah audience, man, it's, audience scores 79 i'm at i'm at a b i'm at a i'm at a, a generous b so like a b minus kind of like it, it's good but it's it's not 94 percent good like it's not the conjuring good like we need to relax a little bit 
Um, See, uh, that's that's what I'm saying, though, is they made hmm. look, look, critics are getting younger. You and I are in this industry here in our in our mid uh, to <coughs> late 30s, um, late late 30s as of, of uh, later on this month that for me um megan got a b on on cinema score as well that's good uh, for mm -hmm. for uh context uh but critics are getting younger and they're younger than than us of course and i'm not i don't know which ones are or which age they're in in rotten tomatoes but what you just said the critics giving it this this higher thing and of course that's a much smaller demographic than uh uh yeah. general audience and they give it this higher mark did they do that because of the silly dance because it was a silly uh uh slasher horror film of of sorts um like a dark take on that old uh tv show that had the the humanoid doll uh uh taking care of the kid what was that called it was like in the 80s or 90s I can't I can't remember. Uh but any anyways, it was like a, a living doll that, you know, did uh played with the kid, babysat, made type type stuff. Um and uh I what you what you just brought up makes me makes me scratch my head and go, eh, eh, is is that is that it? And that's like I said, that's my concern with, with studios identifying something that is a, a brilliant business move for the short term but <laughs> what does it do to the what does it do to the to the uh to the art form what does it do to the to the format and we'll have to see because we know they're going to go full bore into it now de definitely so. and then also the other thing to consider is that blumhouse has really really solidified its name as far as horror and so has you know atomic monster so has monkey paw mm -hmm. And so, um, it's, it's the, it's, I think it's the highest grossing, uh, non-franchise film since Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and, and what is that? It's also uh, considered a horror film. I consider it more of a sci-fi film myself, but, yeah. um, uh, horror is doing really well, man. Uh, and, and it's great. Those, these last couple of years, uh, there, there's a much greater appreciation for it. Uh, and uh, that makes me really happy too. <laughs> um, you, you know, the only the only real dud that we had last year was actually, unfortunately, Halloween ends, uh, which I was very excited for, and it let me down because it wasn't about Michael Myers. <laughs> um. Uh, so, just uh, overall, um, good time, good times for movies, and that makes me very happy. Oh, great times for horror also. Um, and so, I mean, there's so many movies coming out this year that it that it will be interesting to see what, what, um, what kind of you know marketing for other films. So, what what do you think? Just out of curiosity, kind of round round back to our uh, box office uh, discussion. What do you think is the number one movie of twenty uh, twenty twenty three? Uh, I'm gonna go. With, I think I'm still gonna stick for now with Indiana Jones. Okay. I think that has mass appeal as far as families. Um I think it depends so much on if it's good though. I think if I think if you come out with a huge word well, of Well, I mean, yeah, it has to be good. Well, that's but, what I'm saying, yeah. man. Look at Crystal's skull. Look and and also look at look at Kathleen Kennedy's last uh five films, you know, the the five Star Wars ones, most of them with massive production you know, issues then, which indy seems to have had and only only one of them seems to be nearly universally liked and that's that's rogue one with the sequel movies being hit or miss for most people and solo having a small dedicated fan base that uh, ate paint when they were kids i don't know what's wrong with you guys but that movie's atrocious anyway if, anyways. if um if the international audience comes out the way they came out for avatar then the top movie might it's, unfortunately be fast x that that is <laughs> that was my uh <clears throat> my pick for for worldwide was thinking fast fast 10 uh fast x however they want to uh i like jonesy making the fasten uh, joke as if <laughs> fasten your seat belts fast 10 uh, um, I I'm curious as to domestically if Indy doesn't 
if Indy doesn't do it, because I agree with you, but only on that condition if it's if it's good, and, and I brought up the reasons why I, I have some concerns for, for it. Um, but uh, uh, Guardians, man. The the James Gunn swan song. James Gunn's last hurrah in the, in the MCU. The last hurrah for, for Dave Bautista as, as Drax. Uh, that's from his his mouth saying he doesn't want to do, do it anymore. Doesn't want to be locked into that, that character known only for that. Um, I think that those going into it, and especially if, if, if Ant-Man and the mm-hmm. Wasp quantum mania does well it doesn't have to be amazing it just cannot it cannot be uh like phase four it has to be just better you know what i'm saying it has to be yeah. more like what we we expected from 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 marvel in general uh which i i think wakanda for forever was a step in the right direction uh from most of of phase four so um I think I think Guardians might have a chance to be the the top dog of of the domestic house, but that does rely on uh, rely on uh, Indy not being a knockout. If it's a knockout, yeah, I agree. And Indiana Jones could be like a I don't know, man, six hundred million domestic. If it's if it's good, if it's if it's not, man, it might it might struggle for five. It might struggle for 450, but it's way too early to tell. We have we haven't seen much. The the trailer that we did see, people did seem to like it, uh, but pe- people seemed to like the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull trailer and and buzz around it going going into it. I still remember vividly, and all of the like diehard indie fans I I know personally are cautious because they're also star wars fans and they've seen what lucasfilm has has done with that so yeah you you can't you can't blame us man hit hit people that have been hit animals that have been hit flinch for for a reason this is emotional damage this is us flinching from the last couple of years of just oh my god kenobi ah that's off that's awful Mm -hmm. uh she hulk no 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 more no more you know that's that's what you get (laughs) No, yeah, you're you're right about that. It's um, it's pretty. It, it's it's cautionary, but I, I just think it has the the wide appeal and the mm-hmm. nostalgia and everything. So if people wanting to bring their their kids into it, like they were brought into it, yeah, yeah I, dig, I dig. Well, that. the thing I like, hope it works like, out. If it's good, it's a movie that I'll probably uh, I'll probably screen, and then I'll probably watch it in theaters again. If it's good, if it's not good, yeah. then, then um probably not <laughs> um and but it's a movie i can see myself seeing multiple times in theater like i guarantee you out of the movies coming out um most of the marvel and dc movies i'll see twice in theaters mm. and that's just because that's who i am <laughs> um and so um yeah, the Mario think, Brothers might be a surprise. Oh no, man. I, I keep you know forgetting what? about. I, I about don't know. That I don't one. know if that'll be the top one, but that'll do. I think that'll do Minions numbers. If you remember Minions from last year, yeah, um, that I think it'll do more than. You know than what? That. It might. It might do more, but um, Japan, I think, is going to be. That might be. That might give give uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. anime movies a run mm-hmm. for their their money. Mario is is huge. And I don't know why I keep forgetting about about it because I've been on for that movie since the first since the first trailer. I've been like, mm-hmm. yes, I will watch this. Give it give it to me. Um, and I don't know why I keep forgetting about it when I talk about uh, when I talk about um, uh, movies and 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 guesses pr- projections. I don't think Transformers is gonna hit as well as they they hoped domestically again this is me just going over domestic fast 10 i don't think i think most of that's kind of it's got its audience here but it's not as big as it used to be it makes its its money in the foreign market uh spider verse is going to do well i don't know if it'll do M- mcu well uh john because, wick yeah because no. the thing the thing about the thing about the spider verse love was, john wick was, though it was such an event the first time that mm-hmm. and now it's kind of a repeat thing yeah and yeah john john wick is gonna do fine it's gonna fine. do really really yeah. well yeah. um i'm so excited for that i just when i when when stunt coordinators get a chance to direct and now get get you know make their own films it's always fun yeah definitely 
Well, man, uh, that's a good Monday wrap up point. We are running a little bit uh, mm -hmm. late this morning because of uh, sleep. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like the it's the most bothersome, wonder wonderfully bothersome thing on the planet is having yeah, to figure sleep. out how Batman does it. I, right uh meth what no no one no, said that no 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 dude, one dude said no <laughs> dude he straight up did inject himself with performance enhancing substance in in the batman so don't don't say he's he's above uh performance enhancers because uh may, maybe comic book but not that batman and right now that's uh that's by far uh uh my my favorite favorite batman since since keaton so <laughs> that's a damn good damn good movie um yeah that's that's it guys uh please hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already a lot of great content anime reactions we added a couple of of 2023 uh shows we're doing uh near and uh inukai san's dog like we already mentioned also doing um uh buddy daddies which was very hilarious and of course our uh fate reactions are still going uh all of our non uh reaction shows go up on the uh uh podcast network wherever you get those uh those from genreverse podcast network uh Daily Cog, Breaking Geek, AVR, all, all of that. Check out lrmonline.com every day for all entertainment news needs. Enter entertainment news needs and opinions, written reviews, uh, celebrity interviews, and uh, more. That's, that's it. My brain is malfunctioning. Bye. <laughs>